Welcome back, this is Yamma Jack, and today we got Gunslinger Edge of Reality Suicidal with a little bit of low gravity. It's weird. Um, it's been a while since we played in this low gravity environment. Um, and I'll be honest with you, okay? Today, oh, I got a little bit of a, uh, of a little bit, a little, a little bit, just a little inkling. A little inkling of, uh, of loathing for the KF2 series. A minor case of severe... What is it? What, 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 how does how's the quote go? Um, a minor case of supreme uh, of supreme of severe um, brain damage. Is that it? Is that what Wheatley says to to Chell and uh, in Portal Two at the beginning of the game? Uh, Portal Two is such a great game, dude. Anyway, it's, a, it's kind of a similar thing to what I just said. A uh, minor little bit of uh, loathing. <laughs> uh, but no, I, uh, I I really just I didn't want to record today. I'm having fun now. Like, I'm recording, and it's like, heck yeah, dude, let's go. But getting uh, getting set up for it, I did a lot of procrastination, <laughs> for sure. So, uh, yeah. I just I didn't want to do it. It's interrupting my reading. I, uh, the other day I read, um, A Capable Maid. It's a Korean webtoon, uh, about a maid who, like, talks to some dude who prays that her dream will come true, and she'll be a, a capable maid. And then the dude is like, all right, I'm gonna tell God to do that for you, and then God does it. Uh, so she becomes, like, a capable maid, and... Yada yada yada. It was a, it was a fun little thing. It was a, an enjoyable story. I liked it, and they left it off at a pretty unfortunate position. I mean, you know, whenever I, I get caught up to a to a story, I'm always gonna be like, it's an unfortunate position that it ended. You know, it ended where it was. It was a very unfortunate location where it ended because uh, the part where it ended was a part where I didn't want it to end. But that's true, pretty much all the time. You know, so I don't know that it necessarily. It might be a little bit disingenuous. Um, but it ended at a, at a part where I was not necessarily happy with it. Again, that's all of the parts. No matter where it ended, I'd be saying the same thing. Got some ammo here. But, uh, so I was mad about that. I tried looking up the, uh, the, like, original web novel that it was based on. I don't know if it is, but most webtoons, manga, all that kind of stuff, most of it is usually based on, um, uh, like an original source. There'll be, like, a game or, um, a novel... Or something that it's uh, that it's based on. Um, typically, anyway. Uh, so I, I always just like look it up. But it looks like a capable maid is an original work. Um, tip typically, just because it's like a lot more work writing and drawing at the same time. So you typically just have like an uh, you know an artist who then goes over and like makes the thing for the. You know you don't have too too many original works. Um, there are there are there are lots out there, but. Like, I, I believe the, the vast majority of, like, stuff I enjoy, anyway, is, is typically based on, like, a novel. Um, just the way that it kind of goes for me, I don't know why. But uh, maybe, maybe that's, uh, like, a biased sample size, perhaps, probably it is, but... Um, anyway, that's, that's not the important thing. So this one had, uh, looks like it's an original work, which was surprising to me. Um, it's not often that that happens to me. So I couldn't, I couldn't continue reading, and I'm like, I just, I need more. So I got over my, uh, my post manwa stress disorder, and I, uh, I found another one called Ebony. Just, just Ebony. It's, uh, it's a story kind of similar-ish. My, like, holy, what the heck? Um, uh, kind of similar-ish. Uh, it's about a girl who was accused of murdering some people in a super sexist country uh, and then some dude like saves her and they have a whole bunch of stuff happening and this one ended like an actually really bad situation it's not even just me being mad that it ended it's like it actually genuinely ended at a at a pretty nasty cliffhanger um, or at least I got caught up at a pretty nasty cl uh, cliffhanger it feels like where they ended it, like, is just where the romance is about to start, like, happening for, for realsies. Which I'm like, yeah, <laughs> bring me that, and then it ends, and it's like, oh god. Um, so right now I'm, re I'm reading uh, Wendy the Florist, it's another Korean uh, webtoon. 
This one is also not completed. I looked, I, I like, I, I made the, the, um, like when I was searching, I, I changed the, the criteria to completed. Cause I'm like, I just, I need it to be complete. I need to finish something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just get so worked up if I keep reading stuff that I have to wait like, you know, months to, to actually get anywhere with, you know, like I want to read something and finish it. Uh, and this one I don't believe is completed. Uh, it might be. But Volume 1 has like 42 chapters in it, and then Volume 2 has 6 chapters or something like that. I'm like, I don't know, maybe Volume 2 is just short. But I'm imagining it's not. I'm imagining that it's saying it's completed because Volume 1 is over. I'm hoping that at least Volume 1 will bring uh, some some proper closure on, on some things. But we'll uh, we'll see. It's, uh, it's So far it's been nice. I've read a few chapters. It's, uh, it's been enjoyable. It's about a girl who meets like a fairy in a forest and she gets the uh, the power to like grow plants out of her index finger. Weird premise, yeah, I know, I know. Um, <laughs> but uh, she ends up becoming a florist and like selling flowers and stuff. Um, and then the handsome knight finds her and starts talking to her. And right now I'm at a point where they're out on. Come on! Aha. They're out on a date sort of thing. Kinda ish, I guess. Um. It's an enjoyable mama. I'm enjoying it. Now that's bullet time. I want to get back to reading it. So I had a little bit of loathing when I was starting this up because I just want, I want to keep reading, dude. I just want to keep reading. I need to know how it ends. I have an I have an addiction to the to the reading, so it's a problem. I gotta like force myself to do things. I still have to edit the um, the two Minecraft episodes. Like that's that's happening later tonight. Um, at some point. So I don't know when I'm gonna have to force myself to stop reading again. Um. Because it's got to be done. I have to edit them, you know? And then tomorrow, I'll probably have to start getting getting started on episode 3 of the Serenity SMP stuff. I'll probably still be reading at that point, so it'll be more forcing myself to give up. I just... I get really uh, into to reading, you know? I, I have so many things that I do in, like, a day-to-day -day life. And it's not, it's not like, oh, I'm so busy, you know? Pity, pity me, pity me, you know? Uh, but just like, cause I there, there's not not much that I have to do in my day to day life. Like I have to um, record KF2 every day. I have to uh, hello. Uh, I have to get the uh, the two Minecraft videos a week done. Um, not doing a great job of that. I'm not even doing a great job of getting the KF2 videos up. I've been late with like all of the videos lately. It's uh, it's pathetic. Um, definitely showing on my performance too i don't even have like a proper schedule for them they're supposed to be going up at 8 a.m pt and 8 p.m pt <sighs> that hasn't happened in forever dude um i should get back on a schedule with it i should start forcing myself to to manage that properly i think this would be better better for everybody involved there's a proper schedule um but yeah i don't have an awful lot that i have to do there is um it, it, it's it's kind of spread up, but uh, just just in general, like there's a lot of stuff that I just like do, just for fun, you know. Like I'm reading um, a lot of manhwas. I have like when when you look at my phones, my my uh, Firefox tabs, I've got like seven different tabs open, and they're all just different web novels <laughs> that I'm reading, um, which is like, you know, just kind of a lot. <laughs> Uh, I've got like Tomb Raider King and uh, an Omniscient Reader's Viewpoint, um, a couple of Chinese like Shensha kind of stuff, and um, some Sekai. And I've lost some too, like on my other phone. I've got another phone here. It's got other manga, <laughs> like not a manga. It's got other uh, web novels on on its tabs. So there's just like a billion tabs um, open on 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 all the things that have uh, different like novels that I'm reading. Which is just kind of crazy, but You've got quite a hike if you, you know, to get to the it is what it is. Uh, and then I also read like manga every day, pretty much, of my life. Um, usually, what happens is is one of my friends, one of my good friends, will send me a uh, a manga, be like, "Hey, you should read this," and I'll be like, "All right, I trust your uh, I trust your opinion. I'll read it." And then I read it, and I'm like, "Yeah, it was pretty good. Rarely is it not good." He sent me one last night that I was super not into. 
But that's a, that's a very rare occurrence. Um, yeah, please, please shoot me before you get up here. Um, so typically like that happens, then I read whatever he sends me. Um, I also, I do a lot of typing. I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm, I'm big into typing. It's, it's one of my main passions for sure. So I, I do a lot of typing every day. And I'm not talking about it anymore because the, the whole community of it kind of disgusts me. Um, but uh, I still play chess every day, mostly. Um, see what else do I do? Yeah, that's about all I do, really. <laughs> but that's a lot of things to do, right? It's a lot of hobbies to have. I think, anyway. And I'm like, yeah, I want to add more. <laughs> I haven't been playing Terraria in a while. I still want to. Um, I still like the game. I want to, to make some Terraria Let's Plays still, just because uh, I think it'd be fun. But it would be like a different kind of perspective. But I just, I really genuinely can't add anything else in right now. I'm already like hyper overwhelmed, but I just kind of get used to all this stuff. Yeah, it's just a lot of stuff that I do every day. Just cause I got a lot of, I've got a very diverse set of hobbies. And it's weird because it's never been like this for me before ever in my life it's uh you know, normally my life was find one thing be super passionate about that one thing for like three months or four months or whatever and then uh quit <laughs> and uh, and do something else for a while but uh these days it, it's a i, I kind of spread it out and i kind of do a lot of things all at once like like i said i'm doing chess and i'm typing and i'm playing kf2 minecraft i'm playing um I'm reading, I'm, I'm still watching YouTube videos, like I watch all of Northern Lions videos that go up basically, like every single one of them I'm watching more or less. Not necessarily, um, you know, in earnest, like I typically put on his videos when I'm uh, making lunch or something, or, or waiting for lunch if I happen to order it that day, uh, eating lunch, um, when I'm going to bed, um, if I'm reading I might have his videos on in the background too. Um, just it's a, it's it's strange for me having such a diverse set of hobbies because it's it's never been a thing that I did before, and I think it's I think it's because of the the KF2 series kind of keeping me rooted in uh, in the KF2 you know kind of passion I guess. Um, having these responsibilities has made a, an enormous difference to my life, which I I talk about on on occasion for sure, but I I still just I'm in awe at, at how much of a change. Deciding to 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 make this KF2 series actually like had on my life, cause like a year ago, you know, I just I'm playing KF2 and I'm like, huh, I wonder what like I should just like record an episode. It was on this map. I should just record an episode as the medic. I'm gonna try out this uh, this new gun thingy, and then uh, <laughs> like a year later, and my life is uh, like my entire outlook on on life is has completely changed. It's uh. It's remarkable how much of uh, how much of a change just a few small decisions can bring. Remarkable. Anyway, I uh, I want to get back to reading, so we're gonna. I mean, I want to like speed it up, you know, like I want to, <laughs> you know, like, like I want to go fast, but it's like I don't want to make the episodes shorter. You know what I mean? Like I want the episodes to go by faster, but I don't want them to be shorter. I'm like let's speed it up. We got uh, we got a half an hour. Let's do it in 20 minutes. I just uh, I don't want to like do a short because I'm like I'm ha I'm liking the recording and stuff I don't want to I don't have any I don't have any valid excuse to, to not record and I like it I enjoy it it's it's uh you know as I was just talking about it's been such a monumental decision to have uh, made it I, I'd be remiss if I were to neglect it for um, for the sake of you know exact for for the sake of doing what you know that's that's kind of the thing right so I'm saying that this has kind of rooted me and and kind of kept me consistent as I as I get other ha uh, hobbies and other passions and stuff I still have to take that break to play Killing Floor 2 um, so it's very counterproductive even though I want to go read I'd, I'd rather be doing that than playing it's in the grand scheme of things it's hello it's uh, completely against everything that that I kind of value about the KF2 series to do that because it would be going it would just be going against completely just everything that I I love so dearly about the series as much as I want to, believe you me, I would love nothing more than to just 
go read the rest of Wendy. Anyway, it wouldn't, it wouldn't even be a problem if I could, like, record at night. If I could record at 5 a.m., I'd go do that, dude. I'd, I'd, I'd be reading right now. But, uh, it, it's getting pretty close to, like, the end of when I can record, so I have to record now. That's, that's, that's just kind of what happens. And it's okay. Like I said, I, I really appreciate that uh, the KF2 does this to me. It's, uh... It makes me mad now, in the present moment, you know? But I, I recognize that, uh, you know, a year from now, five years from now, I'm going to be much better off because I decided to to continue recording today and not neglect the, the responsibility I have to, to myself more than to you um, to, to continue sticking with recording the KF2. Even though I don't necessarily feel like it right now, it's 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 definitely better for me to to stick with it. Which is crazy, right? You, you're, you're, like, thinking about it like, yeah, how was the decision to... To keep playing instead of going and reading, uh, what's the name of the, I can't remember. Some, somebody's a florist. I'm so bad with names. I always am. You know, whenever I watch like a, a TV show or something with people, I was like, oh yeah, like Johnny was so good. I'm like, uh, Johnny, yeah, he was, he was great. Um, Google, who is Johnny? I just always have trouble with names. For some reason, like, but when you when I meet a person, I don't generally have trouble with names. I'll remember your name if we like meet. But in a in a in a media, you know, in a, in a manga or a story or a TV show or a movie or something like that, at the end of the movie, if you're like, hey, let's talk about what Emily did, unless she's the main character, I don't remember who Emily is, and uh, it's it's weird. I don't know why it happens. Because it doesn't happen in real life. It's 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 exclusively in a media kind of uh, context. I've never had trouble with uh, with people's names in real life. I'm positive I shot him in the face, but uh, dude didn't die, dude. Um, it's kind of a similar thing. I don't have uh, I don't hear lyrics like as words. So whenever. Uh, People recommend a song to me, like, yeah, this song, like, the lyrics just, like, they really, they really hit me, you know? I'm like, I genuinely, it, it sounds about as close to English as the guitar does. Like, they just get stored, like, the lyrics of a song, they get stored not as words, but as, like, sounds. So when I'm, like, singing along to a song, I'm not singing words, I'm just replicating the sounds that are, like, in my brain. Stored in the, like, sound section, not the word section. It's, it's a bizarre thing. I don't know, like, why it happens, but uh, it does. It happens all the time, though people, uh, people, like, tell me to, to listen to a song. Like, this song, oh, it's so funny, the lyrics, they're just, they're good. And I'm like, I actually cannot hear them. I will have to, like, Google, you know, song name lyrics to, to be able to hear the, uh... The song to, to be able to see what the lyrics are like I can't hear them I uh, growing up I always thought it was like growing up I wanted to listen to I was listening to rise against and um, hold up this is gonna bother me rise against songs What's the list of songs recorded by Rise Against? Da, da, da. Trying to change or trying trying to see it. Was it Paper Wings? I don't think it was. Survive? I think it was Survive. I'm looking at the rest of their songs here. I think it was survive. Let me let me look at the lyrics for survive. Survive, rise against lyrics. Yeah, 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 yeah. Somewhere between happy and a total f and racks. Feet sometimes on solid ground, sometimes at the edge. Spend your waking moments simply counting time. Is to give up on your hopes and dreams. Give up on your question mark. Yeah, so I, was, uh, I wanted to I wanted to be able to sing along to that song. Um, I actually like, cause back then that was two thousand like six, two thousand seven or something like that. Um, I didn't 
know that I could just like go Google the the song name and lyrics to find the lyrics, right? Like these were back when when did Google come about? When did Google come about? 1996. But but when did Google really start to to hit? You know. About, uh, probably the, yeah, probably like mid-2000. So it was, um, you know, 2006 was, was, uh, not too long after Google really started to, to become a thing. Like, back in those days, I was still using, like, Ask Jeeves or something, you know? Um, I don't know, you, you could just, like, go find lyrics on the internet, you know? Like we didn't even know that kind of stuff. That was that was newfangled technology, okay? Um, so I sat down in a uh, oh, uh, like in a, in a table somewhere. I can't remember where it was. I think it was in a restaurant or something. Might have been like a Tim Hortons, maybe. Maybe it was like 2007 then, 2008 even. Regardless, it was like I was not a very um, at that point in time, I was fairly tech literate. I was not internet literate yet, though. Um, anyway, I had uh, I, I had like a lot of PC magazines and stuff like that. Anyway, it's not that's not the point. It's not uh, it's not the point, okay? So I, I had sat down at a table somewhere, and I had played the song over and over with a notebook in front of me, and I was like writing down the lyrics. As I heard them, like trying really hard, I just listened. Like this took me like a solid hour, hour and a half, to listen to the song and then write down the lyrics. And then after that, after all that time, like just getting the lyrics on a piece of paper, I was like studying them. I'd like play it back and like try to like get it in tune with the with the song. Just a uh, truly bizarre. Uh, experience that, that I don't think many people have ever done. That's that's probably an experience that I am one of few to ever do. I don't think I'm the only person. I, th I think whenever you're like, hey, has anybody else ever done this? The answer is always yes. But I don't think too many people have ever done that because like I, I feel like most people can just listen to a song and if you listen to it a few times, you're gonna just kind of remember the lyrics. Like you just kind of sing along to it, right? It doesn't happen for me. It just doesn't happen because I'm a freak. Baby. And I've got some new tricks. I am. I'm not afraid to admit it. Uh, I can't, see him. can't see me. I'm not here. You don't see me. I'm not here, I'm not here! Uh see so yeah, that's that's my that's my story of uh trying to sing as a child. These days I'm able to, to listen to a song and then kind of... Whatever, I can't see him anymore. These days I'm able to listen to a song a few times and kind of like remember the lyrics. But I won't be able if you like... If you put the song on and you're like, hey, sing the hey, sing this song. I'll be able to sing along. Like most of the time if it's a song I, I know and I've listened to a, a lot. I'll, I'll probably be able to, to sing along, yeah. If you like sit down and be like, "Hey, what are they saying in this song? What's the moral of this song?" You know, can you can you tell us any of the lyrics? No. I can't. I just can't. Um I don't know. And it's a similar thing, I guess, with the uh, with the names. Okay, it gets me in similar like situations for sure. People who are like, "Hey, you know, this thing is important." Like I actually have no idea what you're talking about. In the slightest. You're probably up there somewhere, right? What the heck, dude? Um, so yeah, it's just uh, it's, it's a weird life that I lead is, is the moral of the story here. I hear something peculiar. I think it's somebody else. Thought it might be my computer. There's just like, um, sort of like, I don't know, the best way I can 
kind of explain it is like a reciprocating sound. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense at all, but uh, that's what it that's that's what it sounds like to me. Uh oh. No, I think it might be my computer. Hmm. Nope. Because it just died down. Cool. Well, that was concerning. Alright. <laughs> anyway, that's going to do it for today. So thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more of the future comedy ready to say. I don't take credit for that death. We would have died anyway. We were dead before the leg started, but because the leg happened, I'm going to use it as an excuse. Um, See, so yeah, I like the video, subscribe, comment, do all that kind of stuff, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Do it!